These are the slums of Secunderabad, India. This is home to thousands upon thousands of children who face a life of grinding poverty. Here are two children of the slums, Swathi and Ravathi, taken a few years ago. And here are the same girls today. The difference is this tiny building on Krishnanagar Road in Secunderabad. And within that building are Salesian nuns who lovingly care for these girls. It's called Navajimana, which means new life. And that is exactly what it is. It's a bridge to a new life for orphan girls, for the homeless, the abandoned, the poorest of the poor. My name is Paul Wilk. I started my work to help the orphan girls of India when I accidentally came upon Rina. Rina was a precious six-year-old who had been cruelly blinded so that she might make a better beggar. She had been rescued by the Salesian sisters to the south of Secunderabad in Kochi. As I looked into Rina's innocent face, I vowed that I would work with the Salesian sisters. Together we would rescue as many of the orphan girls of India as possible and we would care for them and give them the opportunity for a better life. When they are educated, the future will be a better future. They can educate their own children. So that is our aim. That is the beautiful thing here. They believe. Yes, the 80 girls of Navajivan are safe. But every day, more and more children, like Shanti, are brought to the sisters. We have vowed that no girl ever, regardless if we had space or food enough, will ever be turned away. Often the children arrive sick and malnourished. Some do not even know how old they are. Some do not even know their name. The only playground they have is the street outside the orphanage. There they have to dodge motorbikes and cars just for a little time to play. And because there are so many children, they are crammed tighter and tighter into this tiny room. Night after night, they sleep on a hard concrete floor. Four or five girls huddle under a single blanket. You and I want a better life for these girls, don't we? We proved we could do just that when we built our first orphanage for Rena and her friends in Kochi. In Kochi, the children really do have a new life. Good food, a clean place to sleep, a place to play, and a place to learn. But our work has just begun. There is so much more we need to do. Together with these Salesian sisters, let's go into the slums of Secunderabad. Let's rescue these children. Let's build them a real home. Your generosity is the key to their future. The children at Navajivana are praying for a new home, a new life as you watch this. Let us make sure that their prayer is answered.